well hello guys welcome back to our channel crypto console so before moving to our video if you haven't joined our telegram channel kindly join this is where we post about the node links and github links regarding the nodes and also some telegram boards and the airdrop links all the links will be posted in the telegram channel and uh, if you haven't followed me on twitter kindly follow i post about the node timings and the testnet guides related to that as you can see and this is our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel kindly subscribe and hit the notification icon and tune into all so you can get the instant notification about our videos so you can set up the node and uh, do the testnet task asap so it's been a long guys i posted a video since so i think this one will be the worth the wait so the project is privacy ai prevent text node so what is privacy ai is this is basically a technology that attests your liveliness so it acts to prevent the bot activity on airdrop farming or any other uh, human activities that by involved by the machines so basically if you register using the privacy ai your data will be uh, converted into your vector data which means your face and uh, the information you give to the project and it will be attested on the on chain so whenever a project or any testnet project collaborated with the privacy ai so they will use your data to prove yourself as a human so you don't need to do kyc and all so the privacy ai uh, save your data and uh, that works for you it is basically the gitcoin thing but it has some unique features to avoid the ai agent on the uh, people will create the script right so a lot of alerts will be used for the airdrop farming so this thing will prevent that so they raised 15 million dollar the valuation of 180 million dollar and they also raised 1.1 million dollar from the node sale so it is basically a physical device uh, which uh, earns the rewards exactly what we're going to do right now so that uh, physical device will earn much more than uh, this vps thing so that's why so okx and uh, binance labs also involved it's also part of the gate io incubator program so the big names are involved it also have a android app and ios app so if you use the polygon id thing you will have a overview on this or privacy ai so if you haven't joined our telegram channel kindly join and also follow me on x subscribe to the youtube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so it has a basic hardware requirement but the recommended is the 16 core which is the vps2 it can also run on the vps1 but it, uh, it says that uh, the vps1 thing is the level one which means uh, if you run on vps1 comparatively the VPS1 will give you less in reward, the VPS2 will give you uh, more than the VPS1 thing. So, for example, if you run 10 uh, tokens per hour, this thing will run uh, like the 30 tokens per hour. That's the thing. You can go for it anything. But I advise you to buy VPS2 at least for 2 or 3 months. So, coming to the testnet port, so the previous AI as an app, so it is available on both iOS and Android. So, you just need to download the app and create an account, and it will give you a uh, like a private code thing it has around 500 like 250 to 500 characters you just need to save it in a safe place and then you need to scan your biometric data that is your face and a unique POH will be available for you to mint so the privacy app uh, will have an uh, urban soul address so you just need to copy the urban address and deposit it around 0.002 ETH because the uh, minting of your data will uh, cost you around like 0.0017 ETH so you just need the gas fees around so we just have it and mint it and it also have some social tasks like the follow and join on discord thing so it is right now on the season 2 so by completing this you will earn the stores so so coming to the vps port so this thing have a node of which uh, earn you the privacy or token which is on the testnet right which is on the orbit from uh, sepolia testnet so by doing this you will actually earn the tokens I think it might be converted into a uh, previous token on the mainnet. Um, the team confirmed it is an incentivized node, so you can run for it. So you don't need to have any doubt on this. So let's get into the node setup. Just copy and paste the commands one by one and uh, just follow. There are some steps involved. Like everything, we just need to update the VPS. So buy the VPS uh, from Counterboy, I believe. If you are okay with any other you can go but uh, this thing will uh, have the customer support on the which is the cheap one better than you can say that so do that if you need a video guide on how to buy the vps and pay using the crypto credit card 
uh, I will give you a link on the description and also on the i button so just go through it so if you bought the VPS from my video like on the counterbar side uh, you will have the docker pre-installed so you just you don't need to run this and all just update and upgrade it will update I'm just going to skip the docker installation and uh, just install the docker compose just add the docker to root user so I already did that and then just pull the privacy or docker image So finally it's done, it took me almost around 20 minutes on the VPS1, I don't know why, so if you're on VPS2 it might be so much faster than this. So the next thing is, so we're gonna make a, a directory that is config uh, privacy and in that privacy also we're gonna make a directory called uh, config. So we're gonna make this directory and we're going to change the directory itself. So we're going to make two directories, so that's the command this way. And I'm gonna change it to the first directory. If you type ls, you will have the uh, config of directory also. So now we just need to run this thing. So this thing will uh, create a key store, which is your the private key like thing for your node. So just uh, keep this uh, private. Save it on your uh, any other private devices. Just use uh, this or uh, this thing. This is the SFTP, which is the file transfer protocol for. Uh, Telemus on the there's a bridge between your VPS and your personal computer. So use this thing or save it to your PC. So just enter your password. Just type it blindly and then type it again for the verification. So after typing that you will get the node address and uh, the key store file name. So in the config folder I think so just uh, we go and change it to the config folder that's the thing we see for um, quickly do that so we'll have the folder name so if you use nano and uh, this file name it will open the file so it will have the secret test of, of your private keys so you maybe check with that I'm not going to do that now so just uh, save this thing this node address uh, is required for the future thing so you also mentioned here so just think, I'm just going to blank it all right so this thing will move your uh, key store file into your valid key store or, or file name just because this thing will change when you update the node so you will have to update the node frequently so just make sure you do this and also before doing it uh, or even after doing it just make sure to securely save this thing into your personal computer after moving to the valid key store go to this website all right so connect your wallet your EVM wallet so once you connect here you just need to uh, have the uh, Arbitrum testnet ETH which is the Arbitrum Sepolia ETH on your wallet address and then you can, you can also request uh, the privacy or deep sea beta tokens I already have the Orbitrum Sepolia ETH. So, if you want the Orb Sepolia ETH, uh, go for the Alchemy faucet or the Quick Note faucet, both will work. So, after that, let me quickly alright, give you a name to your node. I'm going to click token so and then set up between one to three. So, the less the number is the more to. A high chance of getting delegation but it is on the testnet so you can uh, have it around like a five to ten percent also for, for this thing i'm going with the one percent so the node address is the thing that you copied here so just copy this thing and paste it set up my node so just do these things My node is ready for the staking thing. Let me quickly activate that and start the node. So for that thing, 
Just copy this command okay, and then edit here with your password that you gave on the previous step, right? So while creating uh, the keystore file, you gave a password. So just edit the thing and then paste it. So let me clear this thing for a better view. Just paste it and then navigate to here or you can also paste it on your notepad and then edit. So like the password, just press enter. The node will be getting a, a run and the Docker images also will be able to see. Let me quickly do that. And then so I ran the command and also a image has been created. I'm just going to run docker ps to list the dockers. So as you can see this is the node or is the privacy node. So I'm just going to check the docker status. I'm just going to run docker logs. Let's go F and then the container ID. So I, just, I only give the command so you just need to add the container at the end. Okay. So you will see that our key store is okay and node info is okay. That means your uh, service has been started successfully. So this thing is the sign of your good setup. So if you don't get it or any error in this, so you, you might have missed up on something. So just carefully do these things. I'm just going to quit the viewer. Alright, so this thing from the VPS side is ended. So you, you can leave that port. So if you go here, so just refresh once more. Already have the online status. So once you run the command, so you will get the online status. So just uh, refresh once. So go to my staking and then click details and click stake. So there is no balance showing. So I just went under check on the Sepolio scan or Observolio scan. So I got around one token. I think everyone will get around the one privacy attestant token. So I'm just going to enter one and click approve. And then I'm going to stake on my no. So just do this thing. So I think you need to claim the faucet daily. So you can stake a uh, more amount so you can uh, earn the more rewards. So the more the stake, the more the rewards. Also, I think uh, there are GitHub, uh, I mean the Discord rewards also. So you just need to participate in a campaign on the Discord. So you will earn some uh, TP or AI. So just do those things or just uh, climb from the faucet here and then so you can stake it. So it will be uh, in the pre-staking port. I think after a certain period of time, it will go into the staked port. So once you get the staked uh, uh, port, you will act earn the rewards based on the commission you provided. So provided the commission is 1%. So if you provide 5%, you're going to earn more. But the work allocation will be less uh, on the things. So that's it for today, guys. So just do these things. So there's the uh, guaranteed rewards. So set up as, as soon as possible. And if you have any doubts, uh, join our Telegram channel. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. So, I think this is the one of the lowest bullrun you're gonna earn. So, from the next bullrun, so if you say you have like 700,000 users on the crypto, in the next bullrun, you might have the 70 million users. You don't know that. So, do everything, click everything. You don't know what you're gonna end up with. Like last week, uh, we had the social value add up, right? Yeah, it might be the influencer involved. but things will happen so just stick to it and join our telegram channel on towns so there is more not coming we will get into that all right guys stay safe and i'll see you guys in another video bye bye